a new discovery, Yosemite granite tells a different story about Earth's geologic history. This is an article by Carnegie Institute for Science. A team of scientists, including Carnegie's medical Ackerson, Michael Ackerson and Bjorn Meissen revealed that granites from Yosemite National Park, this is a beautiful picture of one of the mountains there, exquisite. Yosemite National Park contain minerals that crystallize at much lower temperatures than previously thought possible. This finding ups, upends scientific understanding of how granites form and what they can teach us about our planet's geological history. Their work was published in Nature magazine. Granites are igneous rocks comprised predominantly of the minerals quartz and feldspar. They are the link between igneous processes that occur within the earth and volcanic rocks that solidify on earth's surface. Quote, granites are the ultimate product of the processes by which our planet separated into layers and they are key to understanding the formation of the continental crust, unquote, Ackerson said. And he explains, minerals from granites record almost all of our planet's history from 4.4 billion years ago to today. So understanding the conditions under which granites form is important to ge geoscientists trying to unravel the processes that we, that have shaped our Earth. Until now, the prevailing wisdom on granites was that the minerals that comprise them crystallize as the molten rock cools to temperatures between 750 and 700 degrees Celsius, or that's between 1,200 and 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Below these temperatures, the granites have been assumed to be completely crystallized. It was previously known that under certain conditions, some of the minerals of which granite is composed can solidify at lower temperatures. So the team, which also included Nicholas Talby of the American Museum of Natural History and Bruce Watson of the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, used lab analysis to determine the temperatures of granite crystallization in granites from Yosemite National Park. The team employed a technique called titanium in quartz thermometry by measuring the amount of titanium dissolved in the quartz crystals the team was able to determine the temperatures at which the crystallized uh, it crystallized deep in the earth when the granites formed 90 million years ago they demonstrated that quartz crystals in samples of the body of the granite uh, called the tuolumne intrusive sweet in yosemite crystallized at temperatures between 474 and 561 Celsius, or 885 and 1042 degrees Fahrenheit, up to 200 degrees cooler than previously thought possible for granites. Ackerson said, these granites tell us a different story, and it could rewrite what we think we understand about how the Earth's continents formed. These findings could influence our understanding of the conditions in which the Earth's crust first formed during the Hadean and Archean. They could also explain some recent observations about the temperature at which volcanic ma magmas exist before eruption and the mechanisms through which economically important ore deposits form.